Hello and welcome back to Geek Feng Shui. I'm your host and Game Master Bob Sellers JR. And today we are going to start Assassin's Creed Origins. My first introduction into the franchise was Odyssey, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I have played the heck out of it in all the difficulties. Thoroughly enjoyed, highly recommend it. Then I got into Valhalla and equally, if not more so. So then I came back and and did a little bit with this. I will admit I have not played as in-depthly with this as I have the other two. And then I went backwards to see how it started and discovered the changes, and I've watched several videos that talk about how things move forward with the franchise and how it changed within the company. And it uh, is an interesting history with an interesting franchise. So a shout out to Chaotic Good Brewing here in Casa, Minnesota. Good place for geeks to hang out, uh, do yoga, if that's your thing. Drink beer, soda, water. Uh, they have milk as well. Play games with your friends and family. They have a game room with board games. And they have pizza and pretzels and food trucks on occasion, as well as trivia night and other games that come out. So with further ado, we're gonna fire up Origins here and get the ball rolling. Check out my game or my case, my books at sellersjr.com. Um, as you can see above or in the link below, as well as my barbecue and kilted swine BBQ. Both uh, the website and also uh, on YouTube. Origins is uh, one of three games that they've added the Discovery Tour in. I've done videos on that, which is really fun for people to go exploring if you don't want to get killed off playing the game or see the blood and gore. And they have information and tidbits to help educators with showing off that particular point in history, which they ask for and they willingly provide it with great reviews. And uh, if you Why is this not? I'm going to check the game. reason I've had issues connecting to the sound. Well, that'll work. So apologies for the nuance there. So when you come in, you have obviously the main options from Ubisoft Store and Discovery Tour, which I did a video on. And we're going to play a new game. We're going to do easy mode for, well, We're going to do the normal. You hold the button down. I play with a controller, not a keyboard jockey. So. This kind of starts out the skill tree that eventually you get into Odyssey and Valhalla that improved. 
complication is in the eye of the player, obviously. Standard uh, bird is an icon in the Assassin's Creed franchise. Check out the movie. They did set the world record for the highest free fall of a, uh, of a stuntman without uh, any supports. The director's cut, you can see them how they practiced it. That was fascinating. I learned a lot from the movie, having known little about the franchise. I should say there are two movies. The one I'm um, talking about is more Hollywood one. The other one is kind of a, I want to cartoony one, but it, I think it's Cumberbunk is the name, or I can't remember the name of the actor. I'll have to look it up now. Michael Fassbender. I I got my actors to confused. But yeah, the Assassin's Creed movie. I am Magi from no 2016. You see this? I can read my own name, Nat! We will find you. The Heron plays in a lot of different. I think I see him or someone like him in the other games. They have cults they hunt down. Sleep. I never sleep. I just wait in the shadows and I will kill you all. Everyone who sniffed the air that day in Siwa! And the soundtrack from the movie will good. Game of Thrones fans will appreciate this big guy. You killed my master and left me for dead. That was a mistake. Your master was a murderer. I am his sworn bodyguard. It is a question of honor. I am the Magi of Siwa. Then you are a worthy opponent. I'll have your life, Medai. This is just a kind of... Ooh. That's not good. Photo mode is an annoyance because I end up clicking the button at like the carry through they have for when they kill off the people. Bonus content is unlocked. 
So we're going to do a loot. And you could carry people, but I'm not going to. Nick, no way out. You can smash things because you can find loot. No footholds here. I need to find a way. This is just kind of to show you. That's the uh, assassin vision that we get to use later on in the other games as well as early ones. I just like breaking things, so it's like Diablo. You'd be surprised what you find. Really isn't anything here. But, lo and behold, over in the distance, you see a little... These scarabs must be coming from somewhere. Indian, or uh, National Treasure, I think it is, that scares everybody. Yes. Good show, good movie. So, talks about pulling out a torch, that becomes important. And as many of these assassin movies, or uh, games have, there are going to be um, things you can light to kind of give you an idea of where you've been. So what we're looking for when we do this is those little, little markings. This is kind of just to teach you here how to go up and over things. And as usual, you want to kind of keep track of where you are. Now you start to see a lot of these little things now. The thing to bear in mind is you can see them through walls as well. So what you're doing here is you're building up. Just hold that up and go back about it. If you drop your torch, you can also pull out a lot, I think. So when you do these visions, you'll also see lights of another room. So you have different options here. Now for example, I think you can go up this guy. But you see there's a burning torch in the other room. This is where you want to kind of look around to see, okay, what is there? Not those stars. But you're seeing it through a wall. And you're looking around. And you do take damage. Again, you're kind of just exploring here. You got to remember, you can see these through walls. So if you don't have your torch out, that's probably the riches of the ancients. You don't. Oh, this is what I was talking about here, where you can go over and light the torches, which helps you in future games, and I'm sure with this one as well. If you're going through a dungeon and want to keep track of where you are, you can light the torches as you go just to kind of give you a visual indicator. Forgive me, Great Amun. I have need of this. So you see these and you're going, wait a minute, I can't get to them. Well, that's because they're in the next room. 
So it kind of does a dual purpose here of teaching you how to climb and move around by looting. Again, you have And you variably you're gonna run into things that you don't know if there's something guarding the 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 uh, things you're taking. Remember how you saw that through the wall. Obviously you don't have to take the loot. But it helps you later when you're going to buy stuff. The trick, of course, here is to figure out, all right, is this in this room or another room? Of course, I missed one, apparently. Hit the right button. There could be things up above worth going to look at. Or you can just kind of keep going. Try to find your way out. So my thought is I need to go up. And you do the Assassin's Creed thing of jumping over. Scanning your surroundings. So they kind of try to lead you around with the uh, greed of loot. This is kind of where you were before. So now... Oh, we're going to jump. So you're learning as you go without even realizing it. There, light. This is where you climb up statues while still holding a torch, mind you. I just pulled that out. to jump down uh, this wall <laughs> and voila you're out of soldiers of course So you're basically using the same skills you have with the big guy. I see you have made new friends. They were setting up an ambush. It's a good thing I came to welcome you, huh? 
<laughs> it's been months. Look at that beard, huh? It's been nearly a year, my friend. Feels good to get out and fight. I am out of practice. In Siwa, everyone differs to the soldiers on pain. You can see he's automatically doing what? saving. I've killed one of the masks once. The head on. Oh, more. Mm. Come. It has been a long road. You need rest? Ah, no. No rest. Not until all the mask ones guts lie baking in the sand. God, I have missed you. Where is your mouth? <whistles> ah, there you are, boy. Let us go, Sammy. How have you been holding up since I left? Behold ah, it the is right difficult, um, Bayek. Without them, you, the villagers really. look to me to keep order. I think it might like, run you faster, I'm not sure. And they rule over all. Maybe not. A garrison in Siwa? Ptolemy wants the entire region kept on the hill. I do my best to keep the villagers out of trouble. I could use your help. I have two I'll skill points, can. you can see up on top, we'll address here in a little bit. I have my own justice to pursue. Ah, I knew I could count on you, Sammy. What happened here? The garrison soldiers are brutal. If they suspect a villager is lying to them, they burn his neighborhood. And worse. Welcome home, Bayek. Siwa has missed you. And then we'll... First town you're in. Oh, all you have, your farm, your goods, your children. The villagers are drained of life. life no one in the Wahad could make a move without being questioned, threatened, Text or beaten. We all have learned to obey and keep <laughs> you run over people. You see how it is. Road rage. Let's not attract attention. Ha, move now. What are you doing? Are you going to go to your house? Nothing there for me. Beautiful environment that you can turn around and look at with the camera as you go. The discovery tour allows you to uh, explore it as well. Before they got drunk and fought with the villagers. Now that Maduna Moon is here, they are disciplined and vicious. All the more reason to kill him. Fun game to play in the winter when it's cold out and it's still warm. But very powerful. Behold what becomes of those who disobey Bayek, Maduna Moon. Take care. Priests for the you are a dangerous place. For me, going back and look at the old games, I can appreciate Whoa. the. Ah, oh. Leave your mouth. You will not stray far. Go ahead, Oni. He is dismal. Should be worried. Ah. Look at you. Cuts, contusions. I'm, I'm fine. Sit. Sit. Hmm? Sit. Sit. I'll take care of it. Uh, you haven't changed. And I, uh, 
I've always patched you two up. Made excuses to your parents. <laughs> Times have changed. But you, I can count on. Slumbering Osiris. <laughs> I thought you would never wake up. Ah, Rabia patched me up and I just... I let you sleep. You need to be alert to tangle with Medjunumun. In fact, my friend... A new bow. See if you like it. Best bow to hit is right in the head. Practice using the left toggle to aim. Strung well. I pulled it back. Take another shot. More arrows in the rock over there. One of the dummies is sturdier than the other. Good shot. What is it? Soldiers are coming for you! Go! Come, quickly! Make certain no one gets out of the house alive. Hepsiva! We're just here to talk! They always say that. Just here to talk! No Mark Rujek's been killed! Your friend, the Magi, may have been involved! Come out! If you wish to clear his name. Prepare an ambush. Nick! They will find my letters and burn down my place. I will be executed. Don't worry. I will take care of this. Watch out! What's that? Who's there? Keep low. He is getting too close. Wait till... Now for the rest of them. So, we're going to have to be really careful here. So what you can do sometimes... That does it. Thank you, Bai. I told you these Nakatiadets do not care. I cannot believe their goal. It is sad. So you can see Come the upstairs. quest up in the I'll top show you left that tells you what to do. All the problems of Siwa are here. 
I tried to help everyone, but it is more than I can do. So you are telling me you do not have the powers of a god? <laughs> but the real problem is that man you want to kill. Majunumon. The people were hopeful when he first arrived. Surely things would improve. We soon learn the truth, actually. Find him and kill him. Majunumun is a lot more powerful than he looks, and he is surrounded by the finest soldiers. I do not care. You'll be killed. You need to get tougher if you want to murder that spindly shit. For sure, you'll need better armor. Uh, I can make that myself. Weapons are more difficult. The soldiers took everything in the village. I will talk to the blacksmith. Yes, Benipe can certainly make something for you. Or Senu can help you find what you need. Senu? Senu is alive. Look who is coming. Senu, old girl. In fine form. Rabia has nursed her to help. I must thank her. The people are desperate for your help, Dayak. They'll help you if you help them. I understand. Mm, I guess I'll accept you. We have three ability points. So let's go look at what these buttons do. That's the map. You can see the uh, different points of interest, question marks, exclamation points. I think those are flight points with the eagles. Um, gear up. So with the gear, You can pick up, I have purchased as part of my Bapa game to several different uh, I'm going to do Romans Crypt Now we're going to go to the gear Desert Cobra I like the Desert Cobra look. You have different options for the Hunting Bow, the Crescent Moon, or the Morning Sun. Adrenaline on Fire. This one causes Adrenaline on Kill, sorry. This one causes fire. Let's play dangerously. Um, let's go look at abilities. With abilities, you can't do dual wielding until you get weapon there. So the idea is regeneration. You want to be pairing. I still have ability points. Then I want to have arrow retrieve as a passive. And contemplation works out well. I'll take the assassination. So we're done there. Let's go back to gear. And I have other gear that I've picked up when I bought the game. I like playing. Uh, 
I like the Vox Uli. Instant charging. You can go down to the heavy blades, of course, too. Snakes on the shield. That's always cool. We haven't got tool skills yet. More well, materials. Let's see what else we have here. Quests. Here. We've already got that. The bow bearer skill is what I need for there. So that's the one. Next one I'll get up there. Oh, I can that's for a second bow. Targets are the people you're hunting down. And we'll go back here. I think we don't have the ability to save. It'll save it as it goes. What is that one here? That's just what I was just doing. So false oracle. I need to hunt for leather. When you get a chance, take a look at my table. Some villagers need help. The freshwater spring near Add more my quests. I know that no such saving. Better look into it. Teramun. Not like him to give up. over and find these different vendors in town here. You can see the different, that's the cloth vendor. Go find a flight point, which is going to be fast travel. It's always good to have one of those. When in doubt, just take shortcuts. Flight points are typically on the tallest. I want to go up that road and around the curve. And you can see the map it's probably on top of that narrow tower up there yep so what you do Crafting gets to be a big thing. Um, so in later games, you get into fishing. So there is the flight point. Whoop. No, did myself no favor.
and then we can do the famous synchronize which you kind of get a bird's eye view and these are fast points you want to collect all of them probably a good idea to do it before you get into questing so you can move around faster and you get XP for each one and it gives you hints there so let's go look at the other ones that are available and you can see the different vendors here you have the cloth you have the stables you have the Ptolemy statue hideaway side quests um, you have all kinds of different travels but I think this is going to be where I call it a game for now and this will serve as an introduction and we'll come back to it in another time um, they do have the store where you can go buy the uh, so if there's any in-game rewards that are free as you go on I've collected many of them they're across all the games you can go to the store and you want to do microtransactions and buy different things so like right now I have a balance of 100 credits again these are across so if you buy credits at Ubisoft it goes across all the games and uh, we're going to go with to desktop and that is the introduction we'll come back and play it some more I really like the game um, it only gets better when you get into Odyssey and Valhalla which I'll also try to do an introduction to and start a character and get to a point and I like the three later games I find the other ones interesting but these draw me more for their diverse uh, character development as well as the better graphics obviously but, uh, I'm not a canon core follower of the franchise I've kind of become a follower of the later variations in uh, kind of like it that way a shout out to Chaotic Good Brewing here in Casson check out breweries such as theirs in your area um, I'm not being reimbursed in any way for shouting them out other than sharing karma a little bit I hope this finds you good spirits and good times thanks for watching please subscribe like and set the bell accordingly have a good one Thank you.